How's it going friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hope you guys are all doing awesome and in this video I want to share with you guys my opinions on the best way to use a DSLR as a webcam. And I know there's a few solutions out there that I found because I spent plenty of time kind of researching this topic trying to see what would be the best for me. And if you are using a Canon or a Nikon camera you most likely saw a program called SparkoCam. And that for the most part seems to work, but there's a lot of people out there that have issues with it. And if you are a user like me who uses a Panasonic, we are not able to partake in those sort of solutions. So the only other solution that we have is to use the HDMI out into a capture card. And that can get pretty expensive depending on the quality of the capture card you're looking to get. And the one that I got, I think is the best solution possible because it could work with any camera and as long as your HDMI out is going to stay active and it's not going to shut off in five minutes and you have to be really careful about the camera that you are using because you don't want to invest into something like this and then only to find out that your camera won't really support it so that'll be kind of a bummer but anyways before we actually show you guys exactly how I have things set up I want to you know show you the quality difference to make sure that doing something like this is truly worth it for you. So right now I've been talking to you guys with the setup that I have with the DSLR going through the capture card to my PC. And then what I'm gonna do right now, if I can figure out where my cursor went, <laughs> there it is, uh, I'm gonna switch to the uh, Logitech C920 right now. So this is a quality from the Logitech C920. And it doesn't look that bad. I have to say I have it set to 1080p mode, which is something that kind of acts a little funny with OBS. So I usually just have it set to 720p, but for the purposes of this video, I have it set to 1080p and cross my fingers that nothing's gonna go wrong with it with this recording. And so this is the quality that you could expect with a Logitech C920. I have adequate lighting to really kind of, you know, present myself accordingly for the small sensor of the webcam. So if your C920 doesn't look as good as like, I am right now, it's definitely not your webcam. It could be that you just don't have the proper lighting or you just don't have the proper settings for the webcam. So before you try to jump from the Logitech to an actual DSLR thinking that will be your solution, you may need to adjust your kind of setting or the environment that you're recording in basically. So going back to my actual nice camera, and one thing I love about using the DSLR is you have a full range to utilize with the lenses. And if you have a low aperture, basically the background will get kind of like, you get that bokeh effect, which looks really nice. And it really hones in on the person, basically yourself talking to the camera and everything else just kind of merges in the back. As we look back at the webcam, as you see, like everything is kind of basically in focus still. Whereas with this, it has a little bit more bokeh. And if I was able to have a lower aperture, basically a lens with a lower aperture, the bokeh effect would be a lot more. So that's something to look into also if you're really looking into DSLR. It's kind of one of the benefits of having a DSLR. But anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys actually how I have it set up. And to do that, I'm gonna use this, which is a really old camcorder. Uh, this was something that I purchased when I first started my channel. And since then I've definitely upgraded my equipment, but and this is, you know, what kind of started it for me to do some videos. So anyways, jumping over now, and as you see, the quality of this webcam isn't the best, but it will serve for the purpose of this video. So here I am in OBS, and those are the cameras, and, you know, it's, it's not like, there's not much lag to this, and basically this is the capture card that I'm using. It's called the Magewell USB Capture HDMI. Um, basically it goes from a HDMI to a USB 3.0, and it works phenomenally. And the glory about this, as far as working with your PC, is that it uses the direct show, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call them. They're not drivers. It doesn't use any special drivers. It basically uses the things that the webcam uses when connecting to your PC. So it basically acts as a true webcam. So you can use this with Skype, you can use this with Google Hangouts. Uh, you can use this with Twitch and OBS. OBS, I'm showing you, and definitely will work with Twitch. So this is just a magic product, but it it is expensive. This is about $300, and it's able to do 1080p at 60 frames per second, but I think the price of it is kind of worth it, especially if you want to use a DSLR as a webcam. I mean, there's no real other solution that I found that will work as easily as this. And the one thing that you wanna do with this is make sure you don't leave this plugged in all the time. Make sure you don't have this stuff in the back corner because this shell, this casing, gets freaking hot. And I could only imagine if you like leave it stuffed somewhere where it can't kind of, I guess, get some air, it will definitely kind of overcook itself. And if you leave it plugged in all the time, it's just gonna constantly keep heating up and be hot all the time. And that's probably gonna increase its chances to fail prematurely. So when you're done using it, definitely unplug it and you know try to preserve the life of it. And as we see my webcam here or my DSLR, 
this is a Panasonic GH3, and there's a lot of talk about it saying that it's not able to constantly have an HDMI out, but you have to basically trick the camera by kicking that little window out, and with that window out, it will stay recording, and you can stream for however long you want. One of the things I definitely made sure is to get one of these, which is basically an AC adapter. This is basically a little battery pack that looks like a battery that shoves into the battery slot. And this is just an AC, like basically plugs into your outlet and it provides constant power to your camera. So you never have to rely on the actual battery. And then this is just like a really nice thin HDMI cable that's easy to bend and ply instead of something that's really big and thick. And it's just a mini HDMI to an actual HDMI for the card. And then what I have it sitting on is this was the biggest thing that I had to try to figure out is how to position the camera to be like a webcam without having like, you know, sticking a tripod back here. Cause if I stuck a tripod back here, the camera will be like still limited to like right here. And then I'm not sure like how to position it where I can like position it really high. And then I'll have that weird angle on me where it won't really kind of be more of a face shot, it'll be like an angled up all the way down, which I didn't really was attracted to. So I thought this was the best way. So basically I have my light here, my Ikea light, and I have this, which is a Manfrotto super clamp connected to this Manfrotto three section articulating arm, or I think it's also called a magic arm that also has this little camera mount on the bottom here as I need to remember that I'm holding the stupid webcam or the stupid camcorder. But then this is connected to that. And with these articulating arms, I could basically position this in any way I want. And if I'm, let's say, doing a review of a mouse, which I'll be doing shortly, I'm gonna basically pull this arm out and put it directly over and use OBS to record as I talk about a mouse and it gets a great shot on the mouse itself. So that's basically all the hardware that I use for my DSLR to webcam setup. And if you're interested in any of the products I just showed you, there'll be links in the description to Amazon where you could purchase them yourself if you are interested in doing this. Now, once again, you have to feel that the value of going from the C920 up to the DSLR is worth it. And once again, I'll just kind of show you guys that this is the, you know, the DSLR. This is my webcam. So if you feel that the quality of this isn't sufficient and you want to get to this, then you're gonna have to spend some, you know, decent cash, at least for the capture card and then the HDMI cable to basically use your DSLR. Then however you want to actually mount it is up to you. If you want to use a tripod or something that you have laying around, like by all means do it. But I was kind of limited with my desk space, the current arrangement that I have with it. So I had to get something like this. I'm really happy I did find something like this yet it was still pretty expensive. But anyways, so just to kind of prove the fact that this is able to be used as a webcam and just kind of a basic rundown of how I have it set up, we're gonna go to inception mode here as this is my, uh, basically the recording program, OBS. And I'm going to add the webcam right here. So I'm gonna add a video capture device and it's already existed right here. So add existing, the Magewell capture, okay. And it's right there. And let's just kind of turn this down like this. And as I right click it and properties, we'll see that, right? Yes, okay, I'm <laughs> just so making sure that it is recording this. Um, if we go down to the device, as you see, this is the capture card I just showed you guys. And then this is your webcam. So basically in the same area that your webcam will be recognized, this is where the capture card would be. And I have proven this, this does work with things like Google Hangouts, definitely with Skype. This will definitely work with Twitch. I could imagine it not working with Twitch, even though I'm not a supporter of Twitch, I like OBS better, but that's just me. Anyways, that's how you use a DSLR as a webcam. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I can't imagine everyone wanting to watch this video and you know, see this, but if you have a favorite YouTuber out there that still uses the Logitech C920 and you want them to have a higher quality, by all means, share it with them. Don't spam it to them, but like, you know, if you want them to have a higher quality, they don't know how to get it, this video is definitely for them because I feel that the quality of this is superior and I appreciate the quality difference. But anyways, that's it for the video. I'm gonna stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.